Hey guys, today I'm doing my week 28 pregnancy update. This week has been hard. Um, I feel like I say that every week. I guess every week is just getting harder and harder, but I'm officially in my third trimester, so I'm so excited. I can't believe I've made it this far. So I'm like just praying that everything keeps going well and that she will stay in me the whole time and that I don't have to worry about like an unexpected early delivery. So that is like the biggest thing on my mind right now. So the first symptom is I have so, I have really bad dry skin, especially on my face. Like I'll put my makeup on and then like throughout the day I'll notice like it's just so dry like here and here and it's never been like that and my legs are really dry and like I get dry patches on my arms so that has been interesting and I like put tons of lotion on and oils and everything and nothing helps so I'm just like praying that I don't look like an alligator the rest of this pregnancy. This week I have been feeling huge. Like I feel like there's no more room in my stomach. I say that though for the last like five days but today is the first day that I feel like my stomach actually like stretched out enough or something to where it's not as tight I don't know if that happens to anyone else but there was like a point when I just felt like it was so tight and so huge and then this morning I woke up and I felt like it just felt like the skin loosened up a little bit or something I don't know like it's still I still feel huge but it just feels not as like it just felt swollen but it doesn't feel like that today speaking of that my stomach has been feeling so hard like hard as a rock and i'm just carrying so high and round like i feel like my stomach just looks like a big light bulb i don't know like i see other girls and they've got like they're like flat and then it like scoops out i am just like round and then even from the front like i don't look huge from the front but I do look like round like I see that and I'm getting more love handles which I haven't had in a really long time even my high risk commented on them like when I was talking about where to give myself my Lovenox shot she was like well honey you've got really nice love handles right now and I was like thanks this week we had our hospital tour, which was amazing. I've never been to the hospital that I'm delivering at until we had the tour, and it was really great. It's I think it's only for labor and delivery, so you go in, it's not confusing. They have like valet parking, and then we saw the suites that we'll be in, that I will be in, and um, they're really nice. I mean, for what's gonna happen in them, it, I'm just happy that I have I have control of like my thermostat and there's a bay window and there's a couch for my hubby and there's like a reclining chair there's a TV I mean it's, it's pretty nice and then like once we give birth we have a golden hour where we do skin to skin and then I move to a postpartum room for 48 hours minimum which kind of shocked me I mean I guess I want to be there for a while it's my first pregnancy so I don't want to like just rush home I just was kind of shocked that like you have to stay for 48 hours but they said they want you to like do everything like your first bowel movement pass gas pee on your own and they monitor the baby like the whole time so I mean I, I I'm really happy that how they do things and it made me feel a little more at ease like if anything happened between now and my delivery and we had to go there I feel more confident about what's gonna happen and all of that jazz gosh I'm out of breath on the note of the hospital tour I got really emotional seeing the rooms I don't think anyone noticed not even my husband but I was like crying in the corner like I just had like my eyes were like watering up because it's just crazy to know like that's where we're gonna meet our daughter like that's where everything's gonna happen and it's just I don't know I got like very emotional so um, but I mean I was fine so 
My latest symptom is that my hands and my feet have been swelling and I've been having really bad hot flashes. Now I live in Houston, so the weather is like hot and cold, but even when it's kind of cold, I can get a hot flash. And on the hospital tour, I had a hot flash. Like, I mean, when I say a hot flash, I just feel like really, really flushed and I'm just like fanning myself. And I feel like I'm drawing attention to myself, which is kind of embarrassing. I don't wanna be dramatic, but it's just very like uncomfortable. And I feel like I need to just like pour water all over myself. And my little, my toes start feeling really tight and my hands, like at night, my hands feel so tight. Like I just feel like I can barely like do this. So that's been uncomfortable. And then it makes me feel like I'm really thirsty. So I start drinking a bunch of water and then I start peeing a ton. So I just feel, I can't wait until it just stays kind of cold and I'm hoping that the swelling will go down. So this week I've mainly been feeling her all on my right side. I don't know where she like what she's doing or like her position but it's like all the kicks are on the right side like up in my ribs down in my groin like everything is on the right side which is just really interesting guys it is so hard to bend down to pick things up every time I drop something I just want to scream even before making this video I dropped something and I just like rolled my eyes and I thought about not doing it um like bending down hurts and it's squatting hurts and I always grunt, which is like very unattractive. Um, it's nice when my husband's here because every time I drop something, he's like, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. And the other day I was at Target and there was like chapsticks on the bottom like of the rack and I like bent down to get them and you would have thought I was going to fall over. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> But yeah, it's just getting harder and harder and like I, I feel like I should get a gopher or something and just to pick up things that I drop or like even my dog's toy to like throw it because when him and I play fetch, he hides under like furniture and I can't play anymore because I'm like, I am not bending down and getting that toy under the couch. I know I say this every single week, but my heartburn is so bad. It just keeps getting worse and worse. I'm like desperate for relief. I like randomly will like burp and I feel like lava like comes up into my throat. Like it's just so bad. So I've been eating smaller meals, but like it's just nothing is helping. I tried eating green apples. I'm still taking Tums. It's just horrible. And it just keeps me up at night and it's just like there's just no relief and I know I said it last week but it's just like consistently staying horrible and I'm not finding anything that's like helping me so I'm just miserable. The veins in my chest are so huge and so blue. Now I normally wear a self tanner but I haven't worn it in the last like couple of months just because of fall. Like I just don't feel like putting it on all the time and feeling sticky. But so like I see everything like I don't, I don't even know if you can see in this video, but I just like they're just big blue veins like everywhere. This week I have been able to fall asleep when I go to bed, but then I wake up about three hours later and then I'm just up for two to three hours and like I physically can't sleep. So I'll like get up and I'll go to the bathroom and then I like cannot sleep for two to three hours like I'll go downstairs or I'll get on my iPad or I'll just like scroll through Instagram because I'm just wide awake and then it just makes me miserable in the morning when I wake up because I barely slept and I was like up in the middle of the night but I know that that's just my future right now so I'm just embracing the little bit of sleep I get it's just before I couldn't go to sleep until like two and now I can go to sleep I'm just waking up a lot this one's random, but this year I'm just not in the Christmas spirit. And I hate that because it's my favorite like season and time. I love Christmas, but we like barely put up our tree with ornaments and I'm just not excited about buying gifts for people or receiving gifts. I just am ready to like move past it. I barely listen to Christmas music. I don't know what's going on. I guess like I'm so consumed with my pregnancy that it's just not as enjoyable so I and I'm just uncomfortable I don't know but I feel like the Grinch this year so one thing I've noticed in the last probably like 
two to three weeks, but like especially now, like I, I thought I knew it was happening, but I wasn't sure. But she, Olivia moves so much when the garage opens or the dishwasher's running or there's loud music. And so like I turned the dishwasher on the other day and like she was just moving like crazy. And I don't know if she, um, I don't know, it's just interesting. So she definitely reacts to sound and um, yeah, or if I'm watching like a YouTube video at night, like I guess cause I lay the iPad like on my stomach, she'll just start moving like crazy and she'll like be moving the iPad around and stuff. So it's just kind of funny that she reacts to all the sounds. And I mean, I love when she moves. I, I don't mind her moving at all. I think it's the coolest experience of this entire pregnancy. Okay, lastly, I wanted to show y'all just like a few of the baby clothes that I've gotten for my, like from myself, um, just because they're so cute and fun. Um, I'm trying so hard to wait until our baby shower because I know people love to give clothes. So I don't wanna buy a lot of clothes until I know what I have, but these were just like so precious I couldn't hold off. So the first thing, I think this is from, oh, this is from Carter's. Uh, actually, this was a gift from someone. Oh yeah, I thought I bought this. Um, it's just little footed zip up pajamas, which are the best and it's just so precious. I love the lavender. So um, our aunt gave us this and I love, the idea of the zip up pajamas because who wants to be dealing with buttons? And then I bought this one. This is from the brand Cloud Island at Target. It came with three. I just separated them all and hung them on these little velvet pink hangers. Um, but yeah, it has a little footed, little feet and then it zips up from the bottom, which is really cool because then you only have to unzip them from the bottom to here when you're changing them instead of like from the top all the way down. So that's kind of nice. And then it has the little flappy mittens so that you don't have to put mittens on them, but you can like cover their hands. And then this I got at, I think I got this at TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um, this is for like next year, like this is, 12 months so it's a little fur vest and a polka dot onesie and then some black leggings I thought this was so chic like so cute and has little scallops I just think baby clothes don't have to be like so babyish like and I love that so and then my husband picked out this again is for 6 to 12 months he wanted something kind of sporty so this is a little hot pink fleece jacket, uh, Columbia jacket that we found at TJ Maxx. So I love this. She's gonna look so cute. And then the last thing that I got her, I have a, I have other things. I have a lot of footed pajamas cause I know that that's what she's gonna live in for like the first few months. I could not pass this up. This is so precious. Again, this is for like 12 months, I think. But it has a little hood and it's so cute it just oh I want one this is from the brand C and C I can't get the tag out again I found this at TJ Maxx and it was $12.99 I mean that is so cute so I was so excited to find some precious things for her okay lastly I'm going to show you my bump so here I have, this is not a maternity jacket. This is just my Zella jacket. So gosh, see, I feel like I'm very like curved out right here. But yeah, so there it is from the side. It goes, yeah, like that. It's a big round bump, but I mean, at least she's growing, so that is good, a good thing. All right, anyways, um, that is my week 28 update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you enjoyed the little baby haul. Let me know if you wanna see any more of the goodies that I get her as we go along. And um, yeah, I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.